Wharton College is an institution that practices on a day-to-day -day basis, providing students with the opportunity to get an enriched education and move on and achieve things in their life that they wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. College students do not, I think, take to lecturing very well. It says here um, they're active participants. The most recent story is about a student who, you know, discovered Dante in my course and now has got her whole family reading the Divine Comedy. A lot of our students are first-generation college students. There is a hunger to learn, um, and so if you have excellent teaching, you also have a good response from the students. They want to learn more. I welcome the challenge. I know that the more they are challenged and the more difficult the challenge, the greater the reward. They offer what it is that you're looking for, whatever it is. It aims to be, in a sense, the people's college, but it is also a liberal arts college. I would characterize Brooklyn College as a research institution. And I see us continuing in that vein. It's getting in there and doing the work and, and doing the experimentation and research in the field and then being able to duplicate the science in the laboratory right on their own campus. What I like to do with my students is really point them to how we're seeing the child beginning to invest attention, interest, curiosity. Good job. When you get them to do something, you set your goal and it's finally you get it. It's, it's just so great. And you just take it back and share it with your class. We are one of the oldest training facilities in speech and hearing sciences in the East Coast. We have access to reach so many people in Brooklyn and the, the community. Speech, language, hearing areas, voice specialties, voice disorders, language disorders, fluency disorders. And I feel like if I'm gonna go out there, I wanna get the best education I can and be confident and help these children out. Countrywide, worldwide, research is pivotal at a university. What we try to do is to bring it down to concrete levels. How can they relate this material to their lives? If you're not getting hands-on experience, you're definitely missing a part of the equation. Something about it is just not going to come together for you. Not only is the campus filled with students from all over the world, Brooklyn makes a very concerted effort to send our students abroad. Going to India, it's so far away, I wouldn't have dreamed. It wasn't in my plans. I mean, it's so far away from home. We were focusing on doing documentaries. It was like perfect for me. Film transcends spoken language. We're using digital video almost as a bridge to link students from the United States with students from South Asia. I wanted to get to know more about the culture, the people. I would have loved to have more time. I love the campus. It's pretty much like a home away from home. We have this wonderful quad. And it's, it's very inviting because the buildings are so old. It has a very nice traditional feel to it. It's a little suburban campus in the heart of Brooklyn. We have Lily Pond, which is one of my favorite places to hang out, to just, you know, like, relax when I'm having, say, a rough day and I just go there. And we're trying very much to use the wonderful urban setting that we have which is a classroom in itself. Like having the best of both worlds. You're kind of like at Harvard and in the mix at the same time. Brooklyn is the place that has the stoops and the corner stores and the cafes and the coffee shops. It's very integrated to life in New York City. Brooklyn is a little quieter, so you can actually hear more. 
But there's all the arts. We go to theater, we go to museums, we go to any kind of artwork. We walk on the streets. Brooklyn is a place that has so much diversity. There are so many different people from different backgrounds. You can get on a train and really be in any nation uh, within 15 minutes in Brooklyn. We're blessed with students who have a very rich cultural life that they very often bring to bear to their contribution to, to the classroom. Mara, when you're talking about her work... I learn a lot. I work with students from all over the world, right here. Yeah, it's yes. kind of like her own UN. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn College is Brooklyn. And so we reflect not only the cultural, religious, ethnic diversity of our borough, but we also reflect the age diversity of the borough. We're learning together. We're honoring one another. We're working to understand the world better, to make it a better place. You go out on the dance floor, your head completely, everything clears away, and all you're focused on is what you're doing, the music, your partner, the moment. It's great. So yes, it's a commuter college, but at the same time, it has a lot of the other benefits that the traditional colleges have. Hey, 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 folks, what's up? They participate in student life activities. It feels so much like home. I'm here until 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock most evenings. Like last night, actually, I stayed here all night. <laughs> I was at the, the library cafe, and it's open 24 hours. They have a lot of computers, and um, have, have quiet time for yourself, too. I've always been really impressed that students come into this classroom. They often already know each other when they sit down on that first day because they're involved in the Islamic society or they're involved in whatever other social club they might be connected to. One of the greatest things about this institution is the fact that we have such a wonderful faculty that is out there in the field, top of the profession in so many different areas. You have faculty who are award winners. You have some who have won Pulitzer Prizes. I've had professors give me opportunities just by seeking me out and telling me, well, this is what you can do and this is where you can go. They come in here, it's like, hi, welcome. What can we do for you? You can't really help someone to help themselves unless you know who they are, what they're interested in, you know, what their hopes and dreams and, and aspirations are. The professors try and open up every single door they can to a student who's willing to think about things and assess things and put themselves out there. I even have this ridiculous fantasy that on Saturday night when they go out for a date, they talk about some of the things we talk about in our philosophy class. They really help to move forward out of the classroom, teach you that what you learn is not just in the classroom, they're more. I always feel thankful to the students for what they give me, and I think sometimes they probably aren't even aware of how much I'm really getting out of it. I think the first thing in education is to not limit yourself. There are an awful lot of people in the world who want to tell you what you can't do. The truth is, none of us know what we can do. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to honors, I say to people, give yourself a chance to succeed. Meeting Robert, I realized that now I have other opportunities. Yeah. I'm now thinking about law school. We're both thinking about going for PhDs, and I think that's just a fabulous thing to have someone that mm -hmm. gives you the guidance that you need as a college student. It's not just transmitting facts. It's always the, you know, the attempt to see through the material into its relationship to the world. Successful education means letting people define their own level of success. I want them to reflect, to think about what do they want, not only for their careers, but what do they want for their lives. I think this school begs you when you come here to be a, be a person to open yourself up, to let things in. That's what makes Brooklyn College special. It makes such a difference in people's lives. They can access the American dream through what we have to offer them. So that is the same. Brooklyn College has been that since the 30s. I certainly see Brooklyn College not only opening doors, but also remaining with them as they leave. That, that this is a place where they were introduced to some of the possibilities. As someone who has come hoping that I could find my path, this was the place to do it. It's actually a joy to see that the destination was finally reached. 
I'm growing so much. I'm growing so much. Yeah, it's a good experience. I'm loving it. <laughs>